Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I watched in the month of December, so stick around. So I was able to watch a lot of movies during the month of December. I did have some time off for the Christmas holidays. Um, I did watch 25 days worth of Christmas movies. So you'll be seeing a lot of Christmas films in this on this list. Um, so just bear with me. Uh, first up, I watched Misery. I know this isn't typically a Christmas movie, but I do like to watch this around the holidays with all the snow and different things that are in here. Plus, it's just a really great film. I really enjoy it. If you've never seen this, definitely check it out. On the second day, I watched Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This right here is a classic animated film. Very easy to watch. It's a very short film. I really enjoyed this one, and it really did kick off the holiday season for me. Um, so if you've never seen this version, definitely check it out. And then the next day, I watched Better Watch Out. I had never seen this one before. I um, wasn't really sure what to expect. I did see where a lot of people were watching this. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, it got a little aggravating at points, but overall it was a pretty good um, violent Christmas movie. Okay, the next day I watched Silent Night, Deadly Night. I really enjoyed this one. It was a first time watch. I thought it was a very fun film. And then the next day after that I watched Silent Night, Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2, which to me, it was a little aggravating because it, re it pretty much went over the whole first movie at the beginning for maybe the first 45 minutes, so there wasn't really much different going on. Um, but overall, it was an okay film. And then I watched Dead Snow. Um, this was my second time watching this one. I really do enjoy this film. Um, and if you've never seen Dead Snow, definitely check this one out. And then after that, I watched Dead Snow 2, Red vs. Dead. I had never seen this one before. I really enjoyed the follow-up. I thought it was a pretty good sequel. Lots of um, blood and gore and stuff. So if you never checked that one out, definitely check it out. And then the next day I watched A Mom for Christmas. This right here is a Disney movie with Olivia Newton-John. It was okay. It wasn't nothing really special. I had never seen it before, um, but I did want to check that one out. And then on the next day I watched Jack Frost which I really enjoyed. I had never seen this version of Jack Frost before. Um, I did do a watch along um, with some great people. And um, so I was very happy that I was able to see Jack Frost. Okay, the next day I watched Anna and the Apocalypse. This right here was a recommendation. Had never seen it before. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very fun um, holiday musical zombie film. If you've never seen this film, definitely check it out. Um, the next day, I watched A Christmas Carol. Um, really enjoyed this one. This right here was a pretty quick film. Um, it didn't take long to watch. I think it was probably around 74 minutes, if not um, shorter than that. I really enjoyed this version of A Christmas Carol, so I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, the next day, I watched Fred Claus for the first time. I really had a lot of fun with this one. I do enjoy... Um, um, Vince Vaughn and I thought his role in this was really good and just a really good fun story I really enjoyed that one and then from my childhood I watched Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas which is a Jim Henson film from way back in the 70s um, it was really nice to revisit this one um, I, I try to revisit this one every year so I'm very happy that I was able to rewatch that Okay, the next day I watched um, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I had never seen this one before. I thought this right here was very well done. Um, this was back during when Jonathan Taylor Thomas was a big deal at Disney. And um, I thought it was a pretty good film to watch. Okay, the next day I watched Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Um, this right here is another one from my childhood. I usually try to watch this one or Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer each year. So this year I chose this one. I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up, I watched The Preacher's Wife. I had never seen this one before. Um, this right here was a recommendation from someone. I finally opened it up and watched it. Really enjoyed it. It was really good to see um, Whitney Houston's performance and Denzel Washington. I thought it was a really good story. Okay, the next day, I watched Avatar. Um, this time, watching Avatar, it had been a long time since I had seen it. I really enjoyed it. I got more out of it this time than I did back when I saw it in the theater. Um, and I think it really helped me to enjoy Avatar 2. I did watch um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, really enjoyed this film. Um, it's a really good, fun film. I believe I did a watch-along. I, I guess this is when I watched it, was during the watch-along. 
um, with that same group and really enjoyed it. I think Jim Carrey does a great performance. He was definitely meant to play the Grinch. Okay, the next day after I watched How the Grinch Stole Christmas, I watched Avatar 2 in the theater, which I really enjoyed. Um, a little bit too long, but I did enjoy watching that one in 3D. Um, I know that if you're going to see it, it's best to see it in IMAX or see it in 3D. Um, so that's what I did. I saw it in 3D. Okay, the next day I watched Reindeer Games, which I really enjoyed. I had never seen this one before, but Bob had um, recommended that I check this one out. So I did. I really enjoyed it. Um, I can see why this is his number one Christmas film of all time. It's not my number one film, but I really did have a lot of fun watching this one. Okay, the next day I watched White Christmas. I had never seen White Christmas before, and I wanted to definitely check it out this year, so I did. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm not really big, and I, I do like some musicals, but this one, this one was just okay to me. I enjoyed it for what it was. Okay, next day I watched It's a Wonderful Life. This is one that I do try to watch every single year, so I was very happy to revisit this one. Um, so if you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life, definitely check that one out. Okay, another recommendation that I watched, which I watched the next day, was Feast of the Seven Fishes. This was another recommendation from Bob, and I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was very, very well done. Um, I had never heard about it, and then he recommended that I check it out. So I'm very glad that I was able to check that one out. Okay, um, the next day I watched The Apartment, um, which isn't really a Christmas movie. It does have some Christmas themes in it. But overall, it's just a really good story. Um, very good transfer on this 4K release. If you've never seen The Apartment, definitely check that one out. I do appreciate Tim from Tim Talks Talkies for recommending that one. After that, I watched Holiday Inn. I had never seen this one before. It's another musical. Um, I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed this one um, pretty much the same as I enjoyed White Christmas. Um, so very happy that I was able to check that one out. Okay, after that I watched A Christmas Carol, or Scrooge as they call it in the UK. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Another great Charles Dickens film based on um, A Christmas Carol. So very happy that I was able to check that one out. Um, after that I watched Terrifier, the original um, Blu-ray, and um, really loved it. I was very happy that I was able to see this one um, before I saw Terrifier 2. I really enjoyed it. Um, Terrifier 2 was another great surprise. I really enjoyed watching that one. Um, very violent, a lot of gore and special makeup effects. I thought they did a great job with that. After I watched Terrifier 2, I did watch A Christmas Story Christmas, which was new this year. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great follow-up from the original classic. Um, so if you've never checked, if you enjoy A Christmas Story, definitely check out A Christmas Story Christmas. Um, after that, I watched Glass Onion, A Knives Out Story. Had a lot of fun with that film. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for it to come out on physical media, which I hope that it does. But it was one of my favorite movies of the year, and very happy that I was able to see that one. Um... After I saw that one, I did go to the theater and I saw um, Violent Night in the theater. Um, I was really wanting to see that one before Christmas, but I didn't make it to the theater before, right before Christmas, as busy as I was. But I did get to go see this one after Christmas, which was just as great. I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one on physical media. Also in the theater, I was able to watch Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. I really enjoyed watching that one. I've um, always enjoyed Whitney Houston's music, and it was really great to see a film based on her life. Um, I thought it was very well done and very happy that I was able to see that one in the theater. And definitely looking forward to seeing that one when it comes out on um, physical media. The next film that I watched was The Banshees of Anna Sheeran, or however you pronounce it. Probably um, my top two favorite films of the year. Um with Top Gun Maverick being my number one film. I really did enjoy this film. I'm very happy that I was able to watch this one and very happy that they have a physical release of this. If you've never seen this film, definitely check it out. I really enjoyed it. Um, and the next film that I watched was another recommendation and that was See How They Run. I watched that one um, and really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. Um, great whodunit type film. I loved it and I can't wait to get that one on physical media hopefully soon. Um, another recommendation that I watched was Death Sentence. Um, this right here was recommended by Bob also, and I was able to purchase this um, and get it 
get it in time for me to watch it during the month of December. Um, I had never seen Death Sentence before. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed um, Kevin Bacon and Kelly Preston. I thought they did some really great performances. Really enjoyed the story. Okay, after that, I watched Black Adam. Um, I wasn't able to see Black Adam in the theater, but I was able to watch it on HBO Max. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good film. Um, not the best, but it wasn't terrible. I had a lot of fun with it. After I watched that, I did watch the animated um, version of Superman Shazam! The Return of Black Adam, uh, which was a really great short um, animated film. Also, I watched um, The Spectre. I watched Jonah Hex. And I also watched Green Arrow, which was all on the same um, Blu-ray disc. And I had a lot of fun with all of those. Very short watches. You can see all of those on HBO Max if you want to check those out. Okay, the next film that I watched was Amsterdam. Um, was not my favorite film. It wasn't terrible. It was a little bit... It was a lot too long. The story kind of was back and forth. Um, had some really top build um, actors in this one. Um, they all did a great job with what they had. Um, but overall, it wasn't my favorite film of the year. And then lastly, I watched another Christmas movie. Um, I watched Black Christmas, which I had never seen before. i um, very happy that I was able to check this one out. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was probably one of my favorite Black Christmas movies. And if you've never seen this version, this right here is the German Blu-ray release. And I'm very happy I was able to purchase this before Christmas and get it here in time. It got here a little bit after Christmas, so I wanted to watch it this year, and I really enjoyed it. So those are all the films that I watched in the month of December. Um, now, as far as the number of films that I watched during 2022, I did watch a total of 388 films, which is not as much as I watched last year, so I do need to try to improve on that. I do at least try to watch one movie a day throughout the year, uh, but there was some time during July that I was sick with COVID and there was days I wasn't able to watch some um, films plus there was time where I went on vacation and I wasn't able to watch any films so that kind of made my numbers go down. Now in 2023 I do hope that I'll be able to at least watch a minimum of 400 um, titles throughout the year. Please leave me a comment below let me know what you think about the titles that I watched and also let me know what you were able to watch during the month because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it if you had subscribed. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.